Hi everybody, welcome back! Sipsco Games, Game Dev Tycoon! Oh man, we're doing so good! We've got like a whole bunch of stuff researched, we can do games on the Game Boy or the Game Ling, and, uh, and we're continuing to make awesome PC games for a mature audience. May Swinger 4 was released and it did super well. Uh, we also made a lot of money off the Ninja Counting game, <laughs> which is great. We're gonna research some more topics and do some more stuff today. Ah, oh, it's gonna be great. We need to move out of this garage too. Ron Johnson's starting to, to get really sick of not being able to take a shower uh, or change clothes or get out of his garage. Great. Oh, we unlocked marketing last time too. Ah, oh, that was fantastic. We're gonna have to try that out this time. All right, let's do some research. Uh, oh man. Oh, look at this. Simple cuts. Oh, look, this is it. As soon as we get some uh, some more research points. Oh, we're gonna do this. We're gonna get simple cutscenes so that we can make like really awesome RPGs with like awesome cutscenes. Uh, level editor? Nah, we don't need that. Let's get a new topic. Uh, while oh my god, holy shit. <laughs> oh, we still have, we still don't even have fantasy. Oh, uh, we need to we need we need fantasy. We, we definitely need fantasy. We're gonna do it. Ron is gonna research the fantasy genre of game, uh, and then we can make like a fantasy simulator. Oh my god, if only we could make like a steamy romance simulator in a fantasy setting, that would be fantastic. Holy shit, Ron Johnson would just love to work on that game. All right, we successfully researched a new topic, fantasy. Great, all right, Ron, uh, what do we wanna do? Do we wanna try doing some contract work? Make you better at, uh, at play testing? Look at that, we can get 17K over three weeks just for like, helping play test the game. Let's do it. Okay, go for it, Ron. Show us what you got. We've never taken a contract before. We haven't really needed to either. Oh, look, you get a couple of research points for doing this too. Oh, look at that. No problem. Jason's just gonna be thrilled. Just what we wanted. We will transfer 17k to your account. Great. Oh, Jason here. I just got word from the client that the contract was completed successfully. Excellent work. Usually I have new contracts every six months, so check back sometime. Okay, Jason, thanks. God, that was the easiest uh, 17k we probably ever made. Alright, we're gonna develop a new game. I don't think we should do Mace Swinger Reloaded until we have cutscenes. I think that's gonna be the big thing for Mace uh, Swinger. So, let's do a uh, Ninja Spelling Game <laughs> as a companion game for the Ninja Counting Game uh, for young people on, on the game link. There we go. Ninja Spelling Game. Uh, pick genre. Uh, is it casual? Yeah, another casual ninja game on the uh, game link. We're not gonna get the contract for, for the Vena Gear because like I, I'm probably mentioned in the Evening with Sips episode, I was totally a Nintendo guy uh, when I was young and, uh, and, and some old habits uh, die hard. And, uh, and just like Bruce Willis uh, never died in Die Hard, uh, I'm never going to, uh, to, to kick my Nintendo habit. So here we go. Uh, casual ninja game, a spelling game. Oh, it's going to be fantastic. It's going to come out for the game link. Uh, Ron's going to use 2D graphics once again. It's going to cost us 40k, but hopefully we'll make like just a ton of money off this. It's going to be great. Proposition. Uh... Oh no, uh, there's an encrypted proposition that's come in. Ron, can you decrypt this please? With your, Do you have like a, like a Robocop visor maybe that you can... This is a very special offer. Our agents have recently managed to borrow some research information which might be of interest to you. If you're interested, then transfer 60k to the enclosed uplink location. We'll contact you, Agent Blowfish. Oh man, this could be, this could be big borrow some research information man we could like maybe like pip uh pip them to the post ninvento and, and sony and like create like the first playstation before they do oh i'm gonna do it for 60k we gotta see what it is let's decrypt this message thank you for your business you've successfully researched business oh man oh that's gonna be great i think that's gonna be very good <laughs> Dev Stage 1, Ninja Spelling Game, Engine, yes, Gameplay, yes, Stories and Quests, we don't need, alright, great. This is just another surefire hit in, in, the, uh, in the series of educational ninja games. <laughs> Dialogues, no, Level Design and AI, yes, look at that, look at, we're so good at this now. Ron is just like an absolute beast when it comes to developing uh, computer and Game Boy games. He's fantastic. Uh, 2D graphics and basic sounds. Yes, please. Graphics and sound, definitely. World design, not so much. This is all going to be very important stuff when it comes to our uh, our cutscenes. My God, we might not. We might even need to like uh, film people. 
doing like live action stuff. Holy shit, can you imagine? Design, uh, do we want to just like polish this? I mean, we've got enough money. We can wait uh, and uh, and do sort of like like what Blizzard do and we can just spend like two years polishing the game so that it's just like absolutely perfect and, uh, and making everybody very angry <laughs> in anticipation of the of the of the big new game Ron Johnson just like holding everybody over a barrel with his uh, with his intense polishing uh, Vena has announced that it will release a new gaming console in two months oh my god here it comes it's the it's the Vena Oasis which is actually probably the Sega Genesis it comes with 16-bit graphics and sound which promises a new kind of gaming experience again Sega Genesis I never owned one but I remember being so friggin excited when the Super Nintendo came out when the when the SNES came out oh my god and Super Mario World for the SNES. I don't know if many of you will agree with me or not, but that was just the best game. Still, even now, the best game. I don't know what it was about it. It was just so much fun to play. You had to get those 96 stars, like which was like sort of like the the first game I remember ever having to like uh, go back and do levels a different way to get more stuff. And it just looked fantastic too. The 16-bit graphics were just fucking gorgeous. God damn it, I love that game. All right, uh, we're not going to get a license for this, but we will probably definitely get a license for uh, Ninvento's 16-bit offering. All right, uh, Vena has said at the announcement, uh, the Oasis is a new start. It will be, <laughs> it'll be the genesis of a new generation of gaming consoles, and we believe it will do very well in the market. Some of the games already announced for the console suggest that it will appeal to more mature audiences. Hmm, interesting. Okay, uh, Ron is is busy polishing away. I don't know if we can actually... Oh, we could have done some marketing. Marketing can be very effective to reach more potential customers, but it can be very expensive too. It is best to experiment carefully with marketing to get a feel for what works best. Okay, don't invest too much and remember that timing is important. Don't invest in your marketing efforts too early in development or too late. Okay, I think we're like very late now with the marketing. It is also important to know that no matter how much money you pump into marketing, it will not make a bad game successful. <laughs> to the contrary, it can even hurt to market bad games too much as it can upset your existing fans. Okay. Um, oh my god, it's very expensive to market. How do you want to market Ninja Spelling Game? Uh, I'm starting to think I don't want to market it at all, actually. Advertising magazines uh, for 50k. Uh, get the game well known before it hits the shelves. Uh, oh my god, advertising in gaming magazines and distribute demos of the game to give players an opportunity to try the game for 150k? Jesus. Small campaign for half a million? My god, start a global marketing campaign. And look at this large campaign. Oh my god, 2 million. Start a global marketing campaign to promote the game far and wide. Organize exclusive reviews, behind the scenes reports, TV trailers and more. Holy crap. Okay, we don't want to do any of that, Ron. <laughs> Ninja Spelling Game does not warrant that level of marketing. Let's just get it out. <laughs> here, here we go, Ron. Your fucking game is just going out. That's it. Uh, engine gameplay, uh, not too bad. Dialogues. Look, we're doing really good with dialogues. We're almost level 3 dialogues. World design just hit level 3, which is very good. Ron Johnson uh, slowly progressing up to level 4. Oh my god, I can't believe you can actually trash the game at this point. I think Ninja Spelling Game is going to be pretty good though, so here we go. New research available, open world, oh my god, open world at this early point in gaming history. Look, we can we can be the first, we can make Minecraft before Minecraft comes out, oh, it'd be fantastic. Uh, the first reviews for a newly released game, Ninja Spelling Game came in, oh yeah, here we go, it's going to be huge, look at this, a 10. Very enjoyable, Star Games. I, I can see 10s flashing there. I'm just waiting until we get a 10. Informed Gamer, once again, saying it's beautiful. Great. Uh, Game Hero, think it shows potential, but it's not the best. And, oh, all games have given it a nice experience. That's not too bad, actually, considering it's a casual ninja spelling game. Uh, <laughs> you just repeatedly have to uh, learn how to spell the word ninja, which is a tricky one. When you're young, trust me, it's, it's not an easy one to spell. Um... It's doing much as we expected. Look at that, rank 25. Uh, I mean, Jesus Christ, this is not bad considering. I mean, the, the Ninja Educational series, you can't knock it. I mean, it's made a lot of money for Sipsco games. Today, the new game platform, uh, Vena Oasis by Vena, has been released. Okay. Uh, I don't know if we're going to do anything with that. It doesn't really matter. Uh, research points. I think we need one more research point uh, before we can 
uh, research, was it simple cutscenes? Yeah, okay, let's do a contract, get that last research point, and then we can get some simple cutscenes, and we can do a reloaded mace swinger, which is just gonna make us like a ton of money. Oh, look at this, game backdrops. Design some simple background graphics for a game. But for five weeks, 16K, no problem. Five weeks means we'll probably get a research point out of this. Uh, so that's pretty good. Here we go, look at this. Come on, research point. Oh. Ron, what are you doing? He's just like taking a break. Okay, well, we got the research point. We might actually not fulfill the... Oh, no. Okay, we did. Okay, great. That was close, Ron. Holy shit. Uh, Ninja Spelling Game is now off the market. It sold, wow, 47,513 units. And it generated 332,633 bucks in sales. Oh, shit. That is crazy. We will transfer uh, 16K to your account as well for completing the contract. Great. And we got the research point we needed for... Uh, Simple cutscenes. Here we go. My god, it's gonna cost us 40k and 15 research points. I think it's gonna be totally worth it though. And look at this. Ron is like eagerly developing simple cutscenes. Uh, we're gonna totally make an awesome uh, Mace Swinger. Uh, <laughs> reloaded. It's gonna be great. You have successfully researched simple cutscenes. Okay. You have just researched your first engine part. To be able to use this in your games, you need to create a new engine which includes this part. Okay. Uh, so we've researched a uh, custom engine. We can now create a custom engine. This costs a lot of money, but I think it's going to be worth it. We, we're going to want this for Mace Swinger Reloaded. We're going to create a new engine. We could call it uh, something to do with Sipsco, or maybe we can call it like Sip, Sipstastic. Sipstastic uh, 1, 1 1.0. There we go. That's a great name for a, for a game engine. Sipstastic 1.0. We can even maybe, hopefully in the future, sell the engine. Be like the Unreal Engine. We can sell it out to other developers and they can build games on the Sipstastic. Uh, it won't be 1.0 by then, but, uh, you know, it doesn't really matter. Okay, 2D graphics, uh, V2 for 50k. Uh, mono sound for 30k. Look at this already. It's piling up. Look, it's costing us 80k. Uh, to build this engine already. Uh, linear story or and simple cutscenes. I'll look at that. 30k each. That's going to be great. And uh, save games because I think we're going to probably use this for like some really epic RPGs. Uh, it's going to be great. Look at that. Sipstastic 1.0. It's going to cost us 150 grand. Luckily, we have like uh, nearly 900 grand in the bank. Let's do it, Ron. Look at this. Oh my god, look, he's got to plow so many points into it. But look, we actually get research points while we're doing it. So he's working on the 2D graphics at the moment. Uh, we can't do any marketing around this. Let's just, while he's doing that, let's take a look and see how we did with the uh, Ninja Spelling game. Look at that. Top sales rank, 21. Uh, Intense Wizardy 2, 39. Did we get any, like, in the top 10? I don't think we have that. Oh yeah, we did. Mace Swinger 3. Fuck, I forgot. That was just like at the height of its popularity, the Mace Swinger series. Look at that. Eighth. Jesus. That's fantastic. Har Fiddle DD <laughs> did, did fairly bad, actually. It, we had no fans off the back of Har Fiddle DD. That was our pirate simulation game. Not the best. Oh, look at this, though. Medieval RPG, Intense Wizardy. Uh, we had no fans off the back of that either, and it was pretty bad. We don't really want to remember the bad times. Let's let's just pretend we only looked at Mace Swinger 3 there, so that we can feel good about ourselves. I think that's uh, probably for the best. All right, so Sipstastic, our custom game en engine, is being worked on uh, diligently by Ron Johnson. Look, he's taking some notes. He's typing on his keyboard. It's done. Look at that. Look, we got a whole bunch of new research points off the back of it to you. Your new game engine, Sipstastic 1.0, is now complete. Oh, fantastic. Okay, well, straight away... Oh, let's research a new topic as well. See if we can get... Oh, look at this virtual pet. Maybe we can reload May Swinger as a virtual pet simulator. God, that'd be fantastic. Oh, Wild West. We're going to need this, though. We're definitely going to need Wild West at some point. So let's do it. We're going to research the Wild West topic. Oh, man. Maybe we could get, like... We can research the steering wheel, make like a Wild West horse driving simulator. Oh, I think that would be a, a, an intense combo, actually. I think that would do really well. Okay, we've got Wild West. Let's develop a new game. we got everything we need now. We're going to reload Mace Swinger. Mace Swinger Reloaded. Uh, and what do we want this to be? Oh, we can't. Oh, God, I can't actually fit the D in here. I, I wanted it to be called Mace Swinger Reloaded. But we're going to have to call it Mace Swinger Reload. Oh, I wish there wasn't 
I wish there wasn't a limit on, on how many characters you could use in the name of the game. Or if there was just like another text box, like right under here, where you could like give it like a sub name, that'd be great. Okay, Mace Swinger Reloaded. Mature audience, definitely. Pick topic. Oh man, we, we, we're gonna reload this. We'll reload this into the sci-fi universe and we'll have it like cross over with Intense Wizardy 2. Holy shit, Mace Swinger meets Intense Wizardy 2. Uh, the same uni universes collide and combine to make just the best fucking game you've ever seen your whole life. Uh, it's gonna be another RPG, sci-fi RPG. Uh, this time, we're going to do it on the PC, which it, actually the market share has gone up a little bit. And I think that's after the collapse of the uh, Govador G64. Uh, so, PC, and we're going to use the Sipstastic 1.0 engine. Oh, this is going to be great. It's only going to cost us 15k to develop this game and just watch. Big bazingas. It's going to be nuts. We're going to do it with 2D Graphics V2 at 30k already. Development cost has gone up substantially, but that's okay. Ron is going to get his magic fingers ready to, uh, oh, look at this. Linear story, yes. Simple cutscenes, yes. Uh, save games, yes. All these engine features, this is going to be great. Uh, stories and quests, we want uh, lots of engine. Uh, we'll just leave that low. Gameplay, we definitely want high. Yes, okay, great. Dev stage one, Mace Swinger reload. Oh, I wish I could have called it reloaded. I'm, I'm a little bit sad about that. It's going to be the best sci-fi RPG crossover with Intense Wizardy 2, though, uh, ever, pretty much. It's going to be nuts. we got tons of cash. We're going to make tons more cash off the back of this. And hopefully this can be like a, a new milestone in design and technology for us as well. I think that would be very fitting for the Mace Swinger series. Uh, arguably, Sipsco Games' most popular PC game series. Dialogues? We're going for it. We need really good dialogues because we've got cutscenes and we have a linear story now. Level design as well and artificial intelligence not so much. Fine. Okay, Ron. Here we go. Oh, yes. Look at this. Uh, the design. I think we've done it. I think we've, we've capped out at 17 design and possibly more. Uh, basic sounds. Let's go for mono sound. We're plowing so much money into this game, but I think it's going to pay off big time. World design. We want a really good world. Uh, graphics and sounds definitely as well. Okay, fine. This is going to be like an intense experience. This is just going to be so good. Look at this. Look at the design and technology. I think is. I, I think we've done it. I think we've like broken two company records. Uh, with this one, May Swinger Reloaded. God, I'm actually like sweating a bit. I'm so excited. Uh, let's let Ron do a little bit of polishing and Mace Swinger Reloaded. Here we go. Oh, fuck. Holy shit. Please. Daddy needs a new pair of shoes. Mace Swinger Reloaded. Oh, look at that. New records. Cross the board. Ron is has just gained more experience with writing awesome dialogues. Look, he's level 3 now. He could probably like write the next uh, Dragon Age Origins with those skills, which would be fantastic. Uh, okay, Ron. Uh, hold on to your... Your luscious butt. Here we go. Better dialogues. Oh my god. We got... We didn't get many research points that time. Or no, we did actually. We got 12 because I blew them all on uh, researching Wild West before we made this game. Uh, new research available. Joystick. Holy shit. Imagine imagine researching the joystick. Imagine being the guy who invented the joystick. That would be fucking fantastic. Uh, the first reviews for our newly released game, May Swinger Reload, came in. <laughs> oh god. Come on. Big tens. It's gotta be. Oh! Ah, oh, yeah! <laughs> they achieved a great balance between technology and design. Oh, my new favorite! Informed Gamer and Star Games are just like totally sold on this. Awesome! Game Hero. Oh my god, we've revolutionized the games industry. Oh my god. Can't wait for the sequel. Look at that. Ladies and gentlemen, I present you May Swinger Reload. The, the finest computer game for mature audiences of all time. Holy shit. Holy fucking shit. I think it was the crossover. I think it was the crossover that did it. Look at the units we're selling. Oh my god. Oh my god. We sold over 100. Oh my god. We sold over 100,000 units in the first week. May Swinger Reload has achieved a company sales record with over 100,000 units sold. This is an important milestone in the history of Sipsco Games. Oh my god. I need to like take a shower and eat my lunch after this. this is fucking crazy. I think we're going to be able to get an office at the back of this. Look at that. We're up to 1.4 million in cash. Congratulations, you've made quite a name for yourself and have saved up a lot of capital. If you want to grow the company further, then moving into a new office is the next step. Uh, I found the perfect office situated in a technology park. Would you like to move your company to the next level? Oh, 
Oh, it's only 150k. God damn it. We can totally afford this. I mean, we're gonna blow this money right now and just make it up instantly in the second week of May Swinger Reload selling. Heck yeah. Take me to the bridge, daddy. <laughs> oh, look at this! Holy shit, this is awesome! Welcome to your new office. Now that you have a bigger office, you can also hire staff and forge a world-class development team to make even better games. Oh my god. Oh look, the tutorial is back. I've never made it to this point in the game. You now may also train yourself and your staff to improve skills. Let's try this by completing a management course, which is required before you can hire your first employee. Oh shit, I gotta take a management course? Um, I'd rather just actually watch um, sales of Mace Swinger Reload come in. Uh, yeah, look at this! Oh my god, it's like working at Google. Look, they've got like these little like uh, fun beanbag things, and it uh, looks like well, that looks like a Super Nintendo actually to me. That looks exactly like a Super Nintendo. Look at all the games too. My god, these guys are like totally living it up, playing Space Commander and Mars. Holy shit! Oh, this is so good. Uh, to get started, close this message and then click on your character to bring up the training menu. Okay, fine. Oh, look at this! We can fill a position. Oh, here we go. Today, Nivento announced the much-anticipated successor to the popular TES console. This is the greatest console we have ever built. It comes with state-of-the-art 16-bit graphics and sound. It is simply super, and that's why we decided to call it the Super TES. Oh, that's fucking fantastic. Holy shit, that brings back, like, such good memories. I fucking love the Super Nintendo. Fans around the world have been waiting for this moment, and it seems they will not be disappointed. Oh, great. Oh, look at, holy, look at sales on May Swinger Reload. Holy fuck, it's ranked second. I can't believe it. I, I can't believe it. According to our market research, the recently published game May Swinger Reload is a surprise hit with players. Surprise hit, come on. It's, it's fucking revolutionized the whole gaming industry. Ron Johnson, he did it single-handedly and was able to actually upgrade his computer to Pentium in, in the process, which is nuts. Uh, the developer Sipsco Games is fairly new to the gaming industry, but we cannot wait for what they will develop next. Oh my god. We are Bioware. We are actually Bioware at this point. Holy shit. We just cannot stop selling copies of Mace Swinger Reload. Ah, oh, reloading the Mace Swinger series was just like, what, the best uh, business decision I've ever made in my entire life. Holy shit. We're making a lot of money. We got 3.2 million in the- 3.3 million in the bank. Alright, um... That might be a good place to end. Oh no, let's not end. We're not going to end straight away. We're going to train Ron. We're going to send him on a management course. Look at this. Ron Johnson, level 3. Oh look at this, this is so good. Staff management. Okay. Uh, it's going to cost us 25 grand, which we can totally afford. Uh, and Ron Johnson is just going to be like the next two jobs. This is going to be fantastic, Ron. Holy shit, I hope you're like ready for this. You're going to be the best. The best there ever was, best there ever will be. May Swinger Reload is now off the market. It sold. 427,939 units, generating 2.9 million in sales. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy fucking shit. I, I was surprised though, actually. I thought we'd have more fans than this after selling that many um, copies, but... But whatever, we'll, we'll work on it, we'll get there, it'll be fine. <laughs> Look at this, cool, edgy, <laughs> oh that's fucking hilarious, god. Uh, today the new game platform, Super TES by Ninvento has been released. Alright, we gotta get a license for that, Ron. I think our next big console game, uh, we're, we're gonna have to... I wonder if Dinky King is actually out now. It must, it, they must have released it. I think we've hammered Dinky King with uh, Mace Swinger Reload though. Uh, well done! You successfully completed your management course and you are now able to hire your very first employee. To get started, close this message and then click on the fill position button, which is visible near the big desk. Alright. I don't know if I want to hire anyone just yet though. I mean, Ron's, he's got all this space to himself uh, after moving out of his garage. I think Ron is is still good for one more game. And this, oh, this is gonna be great. This is gonna be fantastic. We're gonna make a game that's gonna rival Super Mario and we're just gonna call it Gary. <laughs> we're just gonna call it Gary, that is it. We're gonna make it for everyone. Uh, the topic is gonna be, oh man. Uh, should we make Gary <laughs> the rival for Super Mario Brothers a business simulator? That might be fun actually. Uh, although I think we need to revisit the, uh, the pirate theme. Uh, and, and, and do better. <laughs> We're gonna make it a pirate, um, casual, a casual pirate game. And, and by that, I guess, 
does casual sort of like cover the platformer, like the uh, platformer genre of game, like Mario? I think it does. Pick platform. Uh, we want this for the Super TS, which currently has a 15.2% market share, 50k license cost, no problem. I mean, I think Ron at this point just wipes his ass every day with 50k. Uh, so yes, we want to acquire this license. Uh, game Engine, we will build this on the Sipstastic 1.0. We're going to put all sorts of fun and, and games into this uh, casual pirate title called Gary. Oh fuck, this is gonna be great. 2D graphics v2 for 30k. Do it, Ron. From your new office. Show them how it's done. Uh, we want a really awesome engine. We want really awesome gameplay. And we don't really want to spend too much time on stories and quests. However, we do want a linear story. We do want some simple cutscenes. And we do want to be able to save games. Uh, because I think that just becomes a standard as gaming uh, evolves. Great. Oh, look at that. It actually says Sipsco Games on the side of the wall there. Holy shit, that's fantastic. Alright, Dev Stage 1 for Gary, the pirate casual game. Complete. Well, I say complete. Ron still has to... Ron? What the hell are you doing? Get to work. He's just like scratching his head thinking about what he wants to code. Uh, that's never been a problem before. I'm starting to worry a little bit about Ron actually. He's still got his little um, game design board here. Still trying to figure out how to make Pong. Uh, development stage 2 for Gary. Pirate casual game. <laughs> uh, AI? I don't think we need too much AI. Level design? Uh, we do need a lot of. Dialogues? Not so much. Uh, I mean Gary is going to be much like Super Mario and just sort of go it's a me and woohoo a lot. So I don't think dialogues need to be worked on too much. Uh, but AI, possibly. I mean, if there's some sort of like uh, quarrel with Luigi. Or oh, actually, who's Gary's brother though? It can't be Luigi. That's Mario's brother. Maybe Gary's brother can be Barry. <laughs> uh, and instead of plumbers, they can be, uh, I don't know, like electrical engineers. Oh, fantastic. Holy shit. We're totally ripping off the Super Mario franchise and, uh, and calling it Gary instead. God damn it, Ron. You are such a fantastic bastard. 2D graphics, V2, mono sound, 10k. Yeah, we're going nuts with this one because we actually do want this to sell well, make us a lot of money. Uh, so, graphics and sound, definitely world design. Okay, that's fine. We can leave that at that. Design level 3, uh, or development stage level 3, sorry. Uh, we are creaming through. Bugs. Oh no, it seems that Mace Swinger Reload had quite a few undiscovered bugs when it was released. Oh no, some of our customers are having a bad time with this and they demand that we patch the game. Well, no problem. I think I think we're totally dedicated to Mace Swinger Reload at this point, aren't we? We could either spend the money and time to patch it or ignore their pleas. If you want to patch the game, then click on a character and use the action menu to develop a patch. But make sure that you don't wait for too long, okay? All right, as soon as Gary goes out, uh, which is like uh, just about to go out and hit the market, we'll, uh, we'll develop a patch for Mace Swinger Reload. Look at this. The media is abuzz with the latest news from this year's entertainment conference. In a surprise announcement, Vony, <laughs> a company known for General Electronics, has presented a prototype console called the Play System. Oh, shit. God damn it. I think we're releasing Gary just in time, actually, while the Play System is not out. Oh, my God. Apparently, Vony has collaborated with Ninvento, creators of the beloved and successful TES and Super TES console, to develop what is basically a Super TES with a CD drive. That actually happened in real life. I don't know if you, know, you guys know this. I, I don't know if it's like that well known, or maybe it is super well known. But that actually happened. Sony, uh, before the PlayStation came about, uh, was actually contracted by Nintendo to develop a CD-ROM drive, basically, for uh, for the Super Nintendo. And it was going to be re-released as, like, this super-duper Nintendo with, like, a CD uh, drive and, and all this. And then, uh, at the last minute, uh, Nintendo decided it didn't want to do it. Uh, and so Sony just said, okay, fine, we'll just make the PlayStation. And that is the birth of the PlayStation. Correct me if I'm wrong, I'm pretty sure that's how it went. Uh, but don't don't uh, don't take that as like uh, as as like you know uh, the, the the final word on that story because I could be wrong uh, as with anything and likely I probably am wrong. Okay, <laughs> this could be the world's first console using a CD drive. Holy shit, that's pretty exciting actually. I don't think we're gonna hit any big milestones. We definitely didn't uh, with Gary. <laughs> Poor Gary. I mean, I, I think we hit. Uh, like a creative milestone, uh, definitely with Gary, but maybe not design and technology. Oh, look at this, 2D graphics, V2. Ron's getting pretty good at all this shit, holy crap. All right, Gary is ready to go out for the super 
Ninvento, the, the TES, the, the, S, the STES. Journalists around the world are baffled as only one day after Voni and Ninvento jointly announced the play system at the entertainment conference, things have turned sour. Aw, oh, see, I told you. Ninvento announced today that they will cancel the project and instead seek to develop a new console with a different partner. Aw, oh, Ninvento. Rumor has it that the distribution deal the companies have worked out was unfavorable to Ninvento handling over... Uh, much of the control to Vonnie. <laughs> this seems to be the end of the play system. Oh, bye play system. We'll see you soon though, I'm sure. Uh, like, maybe next week. The first reviews for our newly released game, Gary, came in. Oh my god, Gary. Please. Oh, I, see, I saw a 10 flash by, but also I'm seeing... Oh shit. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Star Games did not like Gary! And also, <laughs> Informed Gamer thought it was very disappointing. They did not like a casual pirate game. I don't think the industry was ready for the pa casual pirate game. Bin material. Oh, damn it. This is embarrassing, Ron. This is so bad. The reviews for Gary are not good. I think Super Mario is still, like, hammering us into submission. Oh, damn it. I don't even want to watch... Oh, well, actually... It turns out there's a lot of suckers out there, because look, we, we actually did sell quite a few copies of Gary. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, in two months, the TS will be taken off the market. That's the original uh, Nintendo. God damn it. Did we even get a license for that? No, we didn't, I don't think. We got a gambling license, and we got one for the Super Nintendo. Uh, the recent pleas for a patch for May Swinger Reload seem to have been on it. Oh no, many fans of Oh shit, we're gonna lose fans. I totally forgot to do that. I totally forgot to patch May Swinger Reload. Oh shit, this is a big setback for us. Okay. Uh, sales are slowly trickling in for Gary. Probably our worst game to date. I think maybe even worse than uh, than Har Fiddle D, D and the original uh, intense wizardy. We're losing fans because Gary was just such an utter disappointment. Um yeah, that was our first venture out onto the Super Nintendo, uh, which failed miserably. God damn it, that was so bad. Um, okay, it looks like... Oh, look, the TES is gone now. It's just dead. It's burning in hell, along with the uh, Commodore 60... Or the Gobador G64. Gary is now off the market. It sold 10,000 units, and it generated 70 grand in sales. Well, that's not too bad. Uh, it's very embarrassing, though. Okay, we'll, we'll leave on a sour note, then. We'll, we'll end for, for now. Gary was was really bad. Uh, we have to come back. We're going to come back and we're going to fucking nail it. We're going to make a the sequel for Gary. Uh, Gary Reloaded. And we're just going to revive the series. And, and we're going to make it something truly spectacular. Uh, as usual, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.